I feel like it took me 18,000 minutes to set this camera up. <laughs> Friends! <laughs> I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys. I had a different uh, video scheduled to come out. Actually, our very first film from the Live and Learn Tour 2020. Um, but before I release that video, I wanted to just sit down and talk. I want to talk about an update on homeschool and life and um, basically kind of where we're going in homeschool and where my heart is um, on the matter. Okay, so there is a question that I have been getting the most and rightfully so, and a question that I've been asking myself quite a lot lately, which is, what is the plan? What is the plan? Now that it's 2020, it's actually almost the third month of 2020, you guys, and our Live and Learn tour has started. It has begun, and it's so exciting. I have a whole bunch of things that I'd like to share about the tour, and I think I'm gonna do that in a separate video, but this time I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys and give you a little bit of an update about um, homeschool and where it is going for us. So here's the thing, I have decided that we are going to live more this year and not just observe, if that makes any sense, to create more than we consume, to give more than we receive, because really at the heart of it, I do believe that to live is to learn. So I wanna do more of that. I feel like when we started homeschooling, I had no idea about the different methods from Charlotte Mason to Waldorf to Montessori. I really knew nothing about any of those. I just started. Um, I started by reading one book in particular, which I highly recommend, I always do, and that is The Brady Bunch, a story about a homeschooling family and how um, basically their journey in homeschooling their children. Uh, that was the only book that I read. Other than that, over time I started to hear about the different methods of homeschool. Just picking apart pieces here and pieces there. Overall, just kind of considering ourselves eclectic homeschoolers. I do believe that there's a certain level of truth to every method of ed education that I have come across. And I do think that at any given time in your homeschool journey, there is like one that maybe reigns above all else. Uh, but I've never really subscribed to anyone in particular um, because y'all know I am not a fan of labels. <laughs> For me, labels just kind of keep me in a box that I have a hard time getting out of if I do that to myself. However, um, the way that homeschool life is going for us now is really interesting. Uh, I feel like the younger years, the elementary years have been a breeze um, for us as far as the actual um, educating of the children. It's had its ups and downs, but mainly it's just homeschool mom, <laughs> you know? Trying to figure out schedule, trying to figure out where to find my sense of accomplishment um, and all of those things. As the kids are getting older, I find myself in a very interesting place. Um, I find myself experiencing what I kind of haven't really experienced in previous years, which is the pressure. Um, the, the pressure to accomplish, the pressure to keep up, and I'm not used to dealing with that because I just never had any of that before. Um, we read, we wrote, um, we explored different science topics, uh, different topics in history. Um, we've always just been natural explorers and I consider my um, own struggle as homeschool mom kind of separate from all the things that they have been learning and growing and doing. I had been struggling a lot lately um, with Cameron being in the fifth grade and Kendall right up there with him and Savannah moving along on the grade scale I guess you would say. Um, I felt a lot more pressure to perform or to um, to keep up and I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it one bit. Um, so we moved along and we created the tour as a part of bringing our um, the things that we've learned outside of the classroom and just making an effort to get out more and y'all know how much I love making things a thing for my babies and that is kind of where the Live and Learn Tour was born. I want to show my kids what it means to start from a dream and you know and start at the beginning 
and how everything that you need is really right in front of you um, in order for you to live life more abundantly and learn along the way. So that is kind of what the Live and Learn Tour is. And I do want to talk more about that and more about our plans for the tour or lack thereof um, in a separate video. But right now, I think the thing that has been settling in my heart the most is to really explore even more about unschool. Um, and even, I really don't love saying it because you know how much I don't like labels, but it's probably the um, method of homeschooling or education in which I am identifying the most with right now in feeling a strong sense of wanting to explore, you know, how that could fit into our lives. Um, it, a lot of you may be thinking that this is nothing new because a lot of the things that we do are very, um, I guess, unschool inspired. Um, but there were things I was still kind of holding on to, like my planning sessions and and just a lot of other things. When I have an idea or when I'm looking into something, I'm not really big on finding all the books that I can find on a matter. I am more of that type of person that finds one really good one and just dissects it over and over again and really lets it sit with them. And I do the same when I am following people that I admire that are doing something that, you know, sparks my curiosity and that I'm intrigued by. And so there is one um, homeschooling mom who um, mostly identifies with unschool that I have followed for for years now and um, I love her I love her expression of how she um, approaches education with her babies and her name is Carla Marie Williams and she actually has a few books out that um, are on the topic of unschool that I haven't yet read but I absolutely plan on reading it's just that she doesn't have an audiobook version just yet <laughs> or it would have already been considered done I am going to be digging into that but I just I love the example that she has set in um, the unschooling community and so I've been watching her <laughs> I've been watching her and soaking up all the things and I felt like moving into this year and the plans that we have with the tour I it's so crazy to say because I spent all of 2019 mapping out all of these plans for the year and I'm essentially just throwing them out of the window <laughs> And maybe not really throwing them out the window because I definitely think that I can pull from my plans any time that I need to. But as far as just keeping myself in a box and bound by curriculum and the pressures that I've been feeling lately, like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> so yeah, moving into this year, we have decided to unschool and basically focus our efforts and energy on living more because that's where the learning is. Um, one thing that I've really loved the fruit of homeschool for us is what it is doing in our hearts as a family. Um, the things that we're able to press through together, the way that we are growing together and becoming closer and I love all of that and I want more of that and I feel like a lot of the things that we have done in our homeschool days that have produced the most fruit have been those very things. Um, so yeah, I've been holding on to my plans and all my schedules and things for a while because it gives me a sense of security. Um, but now, the more I look back, the more I realize it doesn't produce as much fruit. So that's what I'm going to do this year. I'm throwing out um, prepared, rigid schedule and plan and trading it in for even more flexibility um, and really like just starting this journey of unschooling, um, if I can say it like that. So uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of really nervous uh, because there is a certain level of control or a certain level of schedule or planning that I want to hold on to but more than any of that I want to let go of it and see what comes in trusting this process of um, of leaning into our relationships and um, truly living by faith and with all the love um, this year so 
as terrified as I feel inside, because you know we all don't want to mess this thing up, I feel like it's going to be a really, really, really good thing for us and I am excited to document all of it. <laughs> so maybe I've mentioned this before about really um, the label that I wanted to put on our homeschool and it is purpose driven. Um, I am not really a believer in a child or a person uh, being able to be anything that they want to be. I believe that there's a specific thing that we are meant to do here um, and that is the purpose that should drive us and I feel like life is about exploring and discovering what that is by tapping into the gifts, the natural abilities and gifts that we've been given, learning to use them um, and give back um, by using them more and more. And that is what I want to uncover more of in this purpose-driven homeschool of ours or this purpose-driven unschool of ours. Um, and I'm excited to explore that. So is this next year going to be full of adventures and unschooling? Absolutely. And I'm so excited about it. Um, what's the plan? I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> But you'll know when I know, okay? I just took out my blank piece of paper and started writing things down, most of which were words like purpose and giving and work because I really want to impress upon my kids and myself the importance of true hard work. Um, time and money is a really big thing uh, that I want to be able to cover and, and develop good habits in. So I just really want to make sure that I am not wasting time going over concepts and ideas that they may never use. I want to be able to identify and hone in on the things that they were meant um, to do in this world. And um, I want to do that beside them. So this year, a lot of that is going to have to do with me doing the same and setting that example. And so as we are uncovering the things that they're good at and the things that they're interested in, I need to also do the same. So you guys know that uh, with our tour, we're going to be writing a book. But the thing that I kind of was a little hesitant in talking about was the film. We are going to be producing our very first um, feature film, and I am so incredibly like excited and terrified at the same time but I am going to take this one step at a time and enjoy the journey instead of you know constantly looking to the destination and that makes me happy inside I don't know how long it's going to take I don't know exactly what it's going to entail I just know that I want to soak up all of the lessons along the way sometimes there are desires that you have for your family and for your kids that are just not very easy to put into words. It's like that one of those times where language fails you. So I hope that some of this made sense. <laughs> At the least, it's just been nice to sit down and get it out and talk to you guys. We have been more active on our Instagram at the Falco family. Uh, we shared a little bit about our scratch map that is just for you guys. Um, so if you haven't already, we want to know where you are from. <laughs> I'll have a, probably a separate video that explains all of that, but we are going to be scratching off of one of our maps just for you guys where you are from because it helps us to see the bigger picture in that this is not just about us and it's not just about the people that are that we are directly coming in contact, but it's about all of you who are in this thing with us and we love that so very much. So make sure you let us know where you are from so that we are sure to put it on our list when we make our special video. We're gonna be making a special video and gush all about you all who have been with us along the way. So we made a few changes this year to really narrow in our focus to the Falco family and the Live and Learn Tour. One of those was pausing our patron space for now. For all of my patron fam out there, it's so hard to be able to express how much we've loved your love and support. I've learned so much through having that space and this is not a goodbye for my patron fam, but it's just the peeling back of all of the things that we've put our hands to um, over the last several years to just focus on one part 
and then let those things naturally come back to us as we move along. So I just want to say thank you so much to all my Patreon fam who supports and follows. And even after we paused our space for now, a lot of you are still keeping in contact and keeping up with me and I'm able to chit chat and talk to you guys along the way. So I love you guys and I thank you so much for that. We have also been scaling back our shop. Um, we are going to be narrowing it down to two defining messages for us, which is fearless and the we live and we learn tease. So we're going to be closing out the shop to all of our other uh, messages and designs for now in order to focus on the live and learn tour. I was really surprised at how difficult a lot of these decisions have been. <laughs> for me throughout the end of last year and moving into the beginning of this year but as I take those steps it's just becoming more and more clear and we're getting more and more excited about it so yeah those are my updates those are my homeschool and life updates for now I'm excited to get back to connecting with you guys after just really taking steps like back and taking things slowly in order to figure out you know if these are things that I really want to step in to because that's so important I don't want to make um, decisions in haste um, and based off of outside factors I, I want to make sure that I'm making the right choices regardless of what the numbers look like or regardless of what outside acknowledgments or praise looks like I just want to make sure that I'm doing making decisions that are pure and that are right if that makes any sense those are all of my updates make sure you let us know where you're from if you haven't already and i will see you in our next video bye that was hard filming after you haven't in a while it's hard it's okay i did it <laughs>